Hi, my name's Peter Nash. I'm a professor of rheumatology, School of Medicine, Griffith University, beautiful downtown Brisbane in Australia. And we're here at ULAR Copenhagen 2022, reporting for Room Now. So yesterday was the big recommendations day. And first of all, we're gonna talk about a summary of the update to the AXPAR guidelines that were presented yesterday by Robert Landaway. So uh, there was really very little difference. There was five overarching principles didn't change. There was 15 recommendations. And if we try and summarize it, the recommendations brought TNFs, IL-17s and JAK inhibitors as alternate first line choice after the usual anti-inflammatories, after the usual physiotherapy and non-pharmacological treatments. So they preface that by adding that the current, the current practice was TNF and IL-17 rather than the JAK inhibitor and I think that reflects some concern about the whole oral surveillance and that whole story that needs to be sorted out. Of course they said if you've got recurrent uveitis, if you've got inflammatory bowel disease, then a monoclonal TNF is the way to go. And in those patients with bad psoriasis, for example, the IL-17s are the way to go. Now the other point he made, because there's tendency with MRI to overdiagnose, they suggested if there's, if there's treatment failure, please reassess the diagnosis again and make sure that you're not over-treating changes from pregnancy, changes that you'll see on MRI that are not due to inflammation. And of course, they finished with non-evidence-based recommendations on switching and non-evidence-based recommendations on tapering because another abstract of this meeting shows that if you taper and cease, 90% of people will flare over the next length of time. So that's the AXPAR recommendations for the management of that group of diseases. Signing off room now, look forward to more presentations.